The WFR 930 Solva Mastic is an alcohol-based adhesive that offers numerous advantages. It's extremely easy to spread. It's easy to clean, wet, or cured. It eliminates hollow spots. It's a completely resealable and reusable system that ensures all of the adhesive can be used with no hardening in the pail. There's faster curing time, allowing for less slippage and ease of working on the product, and it contains no chlorinated solvents and is VOC compliant in all of the U.S. Let's first take a look at the safety tab in the closure ring. To remove the safety tab, push up from the bottom and with a sharp knife or pair of pliers, remove the top of the tab and discard. Pulling from the bottom, the tab should come out quite easily. The WFR930 snap ring closure is a premium feature. To open, simply unfold the closure clasp and remove the ring. Lay the lid and ring aside. Keep the lid clean and away from your workspace as you'll use it again to reseal the container. Upon removing the top, you'll notice an alcohol odor, which is normal for an alcohol-based adhesive. The odor will dissipate rapidly. The 930's lid contains a white gasket which creates a full airtight seal to the container, keeping unused adhesive fresh and ready for reuse. Keep the edge of your pail clean to ensure an airtight seal. Debris or an incomplete closure could result in adhesive hardening in the bucket. To replace the lid, center the clean lid on the pail and press down. Then align and reattach the snap ring and close the lever. And that's it. When closed properly, the product will stay as fresh as the day it was opened. Keep your workspace and substrate clean. The 930 pours easily at room temperature. It's freeze-thaw stable, but may be a bit stiffer if left in a van or cold warehouse overnight. Remember, spread no more adhesive than can be covered with flooring in 25 minutes. Some installers prefer one to spread the adhesive while the other lays flooring behind them. Most engineered flooring will generally require a number 5 trowel, with trowel notches measuring 3 sixteenths, 1 quarter, and 3 eighths inches. It will yield approximately 60 square feet to the gallon. This may vary depending upon subfloor conditions. Trials for thicker than normal engineered floors are available from your local Stauff distributor. Lay the board into the wet adhesive. Press firmly enough to get good contact, but do not roll or step down on the floor, as this will possibly create hollow spots by flattening the trowel ridges. Trowel ridges function to close the gap between low spots and subfloor and boards that aren't quite flat. Don't roll or step, just make sure they make good contact. The alcohol-based WFR930 skins over quickly, usually within three to six minutes. It differs from a typical moisture-cured urethane, which becomes unusable at this point. With the WFR930, even with the skin, if it's been less than 25 minutes, your flooring will adhere. As you can see, it's dry to the touch, which helps keep your hands clean during the installation. When the flooring is left alone for just a period of four to five minutes, the transfer has occurred between the adhesive and the board. While still dry to the touch, and even though the board was not pressed down, the legs have formed between the board and the subfloor, eliminating hollow spots. Also notice there is no memory in the adhesive, which some of the competitive products have. No memory equals tight sides and end joints during installation. As with any installation, there will be messes, which can be costly with moisture-cured urethanes. WFR930 may be cleaned, wet, or cured like this board shown here with acetone or mineral spirits. A lot of adhesive may require a little more elbow grease, but it can be removed, leaving the finish on the board completely clear of adhesive residue. You've seen what WFR930 can do. It's truly in a class all its own and remains a must-have for many installers. With reduced installation time, no callbacks, and a limited lifetime warranty, it just doesn't get better than WFR 930.